The most anomalous visitor in history, interstellar object 3 Ive Atlas, is right now rushing toward the inner sanctum of our solar system. The third ever confirmed interstellar object is surging toward its perihelion at a staggering 68 kmaos crossing inside Mars's orbit. But just as the world's telescopes go blind during a mid-October solar conjunction, Atlas will plunge into the Sun's fierce electric field, completely beyond Earth's view. Every scientist is left with only guesswork and rising questions about its bizarre chemistry, massive scale, and unpredictable behavior. What will happen when a possible 50 Canemian object from another star system collides with the solar wind at full speed? Invisible to human eyes, the clock is ticking and the risks of fragmentation, trajectory shift, and electromagnetic instability are reaching their peak. Part IE, the head on approach and terminal velocity, the geometry of three eyes, Atlas's journey is a tale of a true cosmic outsider. This wanderer is carving a hyperbolic path inside the orbit of Mars, tilted roughly fied off the ecliptic. A trajectory so steep and retrograde that it slices almost head on through the plane of the solar system. Its orbital inclination stands at 175, a number that underscores just how foreign its origins must be. Most solar system objects travel in the same broad direction as the planets, but Atlas approaches from the opposite direction and crosses the planetary highway at a sharp angle. The numbers alone tell a story of relentless acceleration. When first clocked by the 80 last survey in early July, its velocity was already an impressive 58 candelize. Now, as it plunges ever deeper toward the sun, that speed climbs steadily on track to reach nearly 68 kamambis at perihelion. Try to picture that a chunk of interstellar debris, possibly as wide as a medium-sized city, hurtling through the solar system faster than any spacecraft ever built. At these rates, it covers the distance from Earth to the moon in just over an hour. The closest approach to the sun will occur on October 29th at 1755 UTC, at about 1.6 to 1.40 AU, just inside the orbit of Mars. Unlike the sun grazes that flirt with destruction, this visitor will not dive into the solar corona. Instead, it skirts the boundary of the inner system, threading a course through the region where solar wind and electromagnetic fields reach their most turbulent. The hyperbolic trajectory, eccentricity greater than one, guarantees a brief, one-time passage. The window for direct observation is closing with every passing hour, leaving a scientific vacuum precisely when the object is under its greatest stress. Partiere, the unforgiving blackout, and the blind spot, from Earth's vantage point, the calendar imposes a brutal silence. October 21st, 2025 brings superior conjunction, the moment when 3 I Atlas slips directly behind the sun, hidden from every ground, base telescope, and even most space observatories. For the next several weeks, solar glare will dominate the sky, drowning out any trace of this interstellar visitor. Astronomers call it a blackout, an enforced silence where no new data can be gathered, no matter how advanced the equipment, the frustration is immense. After months of frantic coordination and emergency observing runs at flagship telescopes, the entire global campaign is forced to pause. The sun's disk acts as a blinding curtain, and the comet's faintness, predicted to be around magnitude 12, renders it practically invisible. Even specialized solar observatories as coronagraphs like SOS Lascusi 3, which are built to block the sun's blinding core, are defeated. Their detectors are tuned for objects at least 100 times brighter than this compact interstellar visitor. No confirmed detections have surfaced from any solar-focused spacecraft during this window. A brief glimmer of hope came from the Mars orbiters in early October, which managed a handful of long exposure images as the comet skimmed past the red planet. Their unique vantage point offered one last look before the sun intervened. Yet, even these data sets are limited, the coma appears as a faint fuzzy dot, the nucleus unresolved, the tail invisible to their sensors. No high-end telescope on Earth, in orbit, or circling Mars remains in position to watch the critical moment when solar heating peaks. The recovery window will not open until mid to late November, when Three Eyes Atlas finally emerges from behind the Sun. Part us in, a symphony of anomalies before silence, in the weeks before the solar conjunction, Three Eye Atlas was a whirlwind of contradictions, cementing its status as the most anomalous interstellar object ever recorded. Size, color, and chemistry early photometric readings suggested a nucleus somewhere between 5 and 50 kanumbi wide, making it potentially the largest interstellar object ever observed. 
This massive body is shrouded in a coma that, by August, shifted to a pronounced green hue, a sign of a surge in carbon-based molecules like C2 and Cn radicals. The CO2 outgassing, not water, dominates the activity, setting three-eyed atlas apart from most known comets. The chemical portrait grows stranger with spectra pointing toward a nickel to iron ratio far outside typical solar system bounds, hunting at an origin in a supernova remnant or the stripped core of an ancient, differentiated planet. Light and geometry, the object's light, revealed by polarimetric studies, shows extreme negative polarization, indicating a preponderance of fine, possibly glassy or metallic grains, rather than the typical silicate material familiar from local comets. Morphologically, three Ike Atlas defies expectation, sporting a coma that is brightest on the sunward side with a forward scattering envelope. An unusual geometry that prompted debate over whether it was jetting or exhibiting a sheath of highly reflective, metal-rich dust. The light curve tracked obsessively in the final days, climbed steadily even as it entered the sun's domain, raising speculation of a final outburst or the unveiling of fresh surface layers never before touched by sunlight. Part IV the post-conjunction crucible and alternate physics, the moment 3 i Atlas swings closest to the Sun brings a new set of questions that stretch beyond standard cometary models, particularly from those advocating for electromagnetic explanations. For these electric universe theorists, perihelion is not just a gravitational checkpoint, it's a natural laboratory where the solar wind, electric fields, and charged dust could interact in ways that leave measurable fingerprints. One key hypothesis is that a sudden outburst of activity could be triggered not by heat alone, but by the objects plunged through regions of intense electromagnetic flux. If the comma's CO2-rich dust is electrically charged, the sun's field could accelerate particles, alter the coma's shape, or even shift the trajectory by a detectable margin. When 3 Ike Atlas reappears in November, every new data point, brightness, position, coma structure will serve as a diagnostic for mission planners and alternative theorists alike. The next phase is a waiting game, with the hope that nature might deliver a verdict on ideas long considered fringe. The recovery window opens in mid to late November. By then, every hour lost to the sun's glare will have been an hour when the most anomalous interstellar object ever recorded could have transformed, fragmented, or simply faded away unseen. The world waits for the first signal to break through the solar curtain, knowing that the story of 3 eyed Atlas is a reminder of how much remains hidden even as the evidence grows.